So I just wanted to hit on AMC this morning, which uh, we're still short. The stock is down a lot, um, but it's one of those situations where there's still another 100% to go. Um, and so to kind of back things up, um, a couple of weeks ago, they actually reported their best quarter since COVID started um, in the second quarter of 23. So revenue got back to 90% of second quarter 2019 levels. Um, they reported the highest level of adjusted EBITDA, 182.5 million. The problem here is that it's just not good enough. Um, and so despite these, quote, positive adjusted numbers, free cash flow in the second quarter uh, was still negative 62 million. Uh, their cash balance has gone from a peak of 1.8 billion in the second quarter of 21, and it is now 458 million. Uh, and while I think the writer's strike uh, will be over by early September, uh, if I am wrong, um, and it doesn't, uh, then the Q4 theatrical slate gets pushed and this company is facing a solvency crisis before we know it. But let's say um, even if the writer's strike ends in time, right, um, it doesn't change the fundamental conclusion on this stock, and that is the equity is pretty much worthless. And so here's the math, right? Um, it's actually kind of this simple. Um, rarely is, but in this case, it is. Let's say by some miracle, AMC gets back to 2019 levels of adjusted EBITDA of 771 million. Theater stocks at best trade at eight times and at worst five times. So let's split the difference here and say seven times the right multiple, even though I could argue very easily that AMC should trade at a discount. Seven, time, seven times 2019 EBITDA of 771 million gets us an EV of 5.4 billion less 4.85 billion of long-term debt, of which 41% of that is variable. And you know where rates have been going lately. They have $458 million in cash for now. So we add that back as of Q2. And that gets us an equity value of 1 billion. And based on current diluted shares outstanding, we get a stock price that's worth 67 cents, right? So the best case scenario, right? The stock is worth 67 cents. It's uh, trading at $2 pre-market today, but you also have to factor in the APE component, which is probably going to zero. So still a ton of downside. Uh, but again, this assumes they get back to 2019 levels of profitability. And that would have to happen next year just to get to us, just for us to get to that 67 cents um, equity valuation which again, I don't think is going to happen, right? So at the very best, I think they do 500 million in adjusted EBITDA in 24. And if you run that same math, the equity value is negative. The stock is worth a negative 59 cents. Um, and even if we assume it trades at eight times EBITDA, the equity value is negative. So there's very few paths here for where this doesn't lead to uh, equity holders completely getting wiped out and also likely um, creditors um, getting wiped out here, just given that the equity value is negative. And keep in mind that EV math is just focusing on their long-term debt. Uh, this doesn't even contemplate um, the over $4 billion in operating lease liabilities that they have on the balance sheet, right? So um, this one is on track to go to zero, uh, even before FUBO. They're really close, if not already fully in kind of this negative death spiral. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.